Sorry about that. No problem. <coughs> we just wanted to get a few pictures of your hands and stuff. Um, and I'll explain a little bit the reasoning why we do that, okay? Um, first off, I'm Detective Metz. This is Detective Kerensky. Uh, I'm sure you met him. You haven't really talked to me much. Like I said, with the high school of your mom, so hopefully we can see if we can help each other out a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. um, before I talk to you, i got to read you Miranda warning. Do you know what that is? That's what they tell you on TV where you have the right to remain silent. I'm going to read it to you anyway, but that's pretty much what it is, okay? All right, you have the right to remain silent. You understand that right? Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand that right? Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, if you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish one. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Now that you know that, you want to talk to me about what happened today? Tell me what y'all know first. Uh, that's not the way it works, brother. Obviously, you know, I mean, we wouldn't be talking to you if we didn't know what happened, but I need, I need you to tell me the honest truth. I'm here to help you, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. I know you don't believe me, but... You went down so fast, I just... Well, what happened? I know it was about a fight that happened yesterday, right? No, I had nothing to do with it. Well, I know you didn't have anything to do with it, but this is the reasoning why you, you guys got in an argument, right? Well, then help me set it straight for you. You tell me what happened. So they been messing with me and they would, yeah, somebody was over there when I was walking through to get my food at the, um, plum tomato. Mm-hmm. I don't know which one it was. It was at least eight people out there. Somebody pulled a gun out. They pulled a gun out and ran up to the blue apartment. Upstairs, they was looking at me and then they heard a gunshot. And then I went down. Stairs, and I went to uh, people house that y'all found me at. Mm -hmm. We just chilled over there, and then uh, just heard the cops was up. So cops was outside, helicopters that was outside. So I was just like, dang. Hey, so someone pulled a gun. Who pulled a gun? I don't know. Okay, well, who did you see with a gun? You know all those guys, right? You don't? Yep. You sure it wasn't you that had the gun? Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. What happened when the police found you up there? Hmm? What were you doing in apartment 216? Hiding under the bed. Why? Somebody said the cops were looking for me. Okay, you didn't do anything wrong. Why do you need to hide from the cops? Because my, I knew my name was going to be involved in it, regardless. Why? Because I had something to do with it. What did you have to do with it? People I got into the argument. Okay. You want to tell me a little more about it? Now, I know there's more to it. I mean, I have a pretty good grasp of what's going on. No, I ain't had no gun. You know what we just did, right, with the photographs? That you told us we could do? Yeah, fingerprint. No. Okay. The reason why she uses special lenses is to see if you have any kind of gunshot residue on your hands. Okay? You want to be honest with me and tell me what's going on? Now's the time, man. You, you what, 15 years old? you got to choose a path in your life right now. Either A, you're going to be honest with us, and we can see what we can do to help you out, or B, you're going to live a very tragic life. Why don't you tell me the truth of what really happened? That's all I know. Remember what I told you when we were out there? When we first found you? Okay. We talked about it, right? We talked about everything that kind of transpired already. Okay. Now we have you down here. Detective, let's just explain to you what we just did. Okay. Remember all the factors we discussed? Okay. What I told you out there about, you know, witnesses and everything else. Now it's time to be honest, okay? Like I told you, 
a lot of the stuff we don't need because we have all this evidence already. Now's your time. We really, need, we really need to think about what you're going to do. Because now is the time to try to be honest and try to make things right. Okay? If you shot in self-defense or something, you need to let us know. I did. What happened? Somebody at the Plum Tomato pulled out a gun on me. Who? One of the kids. Somebody you go to school with? Yeah. Same grade? Yeah. What's he go by? I think he goes to the alternative. All right. What's his street name? I know his last name, Glispie. Glispie. Okay. What kind of gun was it? Thirty-eight revolver. How you know it's a thirty-eight? I seen it. How close? This close. Okay. So what did you do then? I ran away. Where'd you get your gun from? Sorry to be honest. I don't know. One of your friends give it to you? Something like that. Okay, where'd you put it? Because I knew you put it somewhere. Did you give it back to your buddy? Mm -mm. Listen, we, we know you're trying to hide the truth from us. Just be honest with us and tell us what's going on. We can see what we can do to help you out. There ain't no help in me. There is, there is help in you. This isn't the final moment of your life. Okay? Life continues past here, right? We make poor choices in life. Nobody's perfect. You didn't kill anybody. You're, you're going along that path, but you haven't done it yet. Right. It's not too late for you. This is just a hiccup in the road. All right? Let's move past it. Okay? I, I know it's inside you. I know it's hurting you inside. You want to talk about it. Let's just get through it. Those people at Plum Tomato said you're a good kid, and then how shocked that they were that they saw you do that. There's witnesses that saw you do it, Jamal. I mean, I mean, I'm not making this stuff up. Why would I have to make stuff up in order to talk to you? I mean, the case against you is very strong. I'm trying to help you out right now. Now, it's either you're going to help yourself out or you're not. I'm trying to help you help yourself out. But you got to be honest with us. Okay? So tell us what happened... From the beginning, what happened today? One of the kids pulled out a gun on me at the Plum Tomato. Okay. Ran to the top of the blue apartments. Okay. Then what? They had theirs pointed at me. When they had mine, theirs pointed. I fired mine. Okay. What happened when you fired yours? I mean, I wasn't aiming at nobody. I just fired it so they could recognize me. And I fired it. How'd you fire it? Did you go like this? Did you go like that? How are you holding it? I shot up. Okay. How many times did you shoot? Just once. Just once? Alright. Now, the most important part where'd you put the gun? It's long gone. There's no around. Where is it? That's a big part of it, Jamal. Your parents seem like very good parents. The last thing I want to do is go to them one night and say that Jamal just got in a shooting and Jamal's dead. You realize this is the life you're about to lead, right? I'm trying to stop that. You've got to be honest with me. Where is that going? To give it to one of the other kids that left the apartment? Did you throw it somewhere? Well, it's one of the two. You still have it on you? <laughs> no, right? No. So, I mean, it's got to be one of those areas. Either you gave it to someone, you threw it, or you still have it on you. We know it's not on you. But, listen, that's it's where the gun is really not the end of the world. Just tell us where it is. We can get it off the street. Somebody doesn't get else get hurt with it. Okay? I don't know where it is. Who'd you give it to? No. Did you give it to your boy that we already got? You sure? Probably yeah, I had nothing to do with it. Did you give it to your girlfriend? Sure. You gave it to your girlfriend? 
<laughs> you want somebody else to get a shot with that gun? Ain't nobody gonna get hurt with it. How you know? There's gotta be a reason why you're saying that. How do you know? So that means that you think that it's in a safe place to where that A, nobody's going to find it, or B, that person isn't going to do anything with it. So that being said, you need to know where the gun is, Jamal. Look, you're already in trouble anyway. It's not like if we find the gun, it's going to make it any different for you. Okay? But what you can do is, by telling us where the gun is, is we can say that you were honest with us and you cooperated with us, rather than us trying to do a manhunt basically for where the gun is. Look, being honest is the best way to be on everything. Can I explain something, Jamal? All right. You know we found the shell casing from the scene, right? Oh, in mine. You just told us you fired the gun. That's not my shell case. That's not none of mine. Okay, what kind of gun did you use then? You know what kind of gun it was. Come on. Did you have a revolver, too? If you're going to be honest with us, be honest with us. I mean, you already told us you fired the gun. Which we knew anyway. Listen, don't be half truthful. If you're going to do it, do it all the way. That way I can call your parents and say you're completely cooperative and honest with us. Because I know you care about that. I can tell by looking at you when you're talking to your parents. Yes, you do. Why don't you tell us? Hmm? What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of by telling us where the gun is? And I'll try to help you figure it out. I don't know how much time I'm even facing right now. What does it have to do with you telling us where the gun is? It might make it worse. I'm telling you it's not. It's going to be the same charge no matter what. Biggest difference is I can put in the paperwork that you told us where the gun was and that you were honest about everything that occurred. Remember over at the scene what we talked about with trust? You know, we're a small portion of your life. Okay? You talk to mom and dad, right? Your trust with mom and dad goes on, right? We'll be out of your life before you know it. Mom and dad will always be in your life, right? Mom and dad were pretty upset about this whole ordeal, right? We talked about trust. Your parents have to trust you. And re part of rebuilding that trust is you being honest. I like detective best just explained to you. Okay? That trust goes a long way. We talk to mom and dad and we tell mom and dad, listen, son made a mistake. He did something foolish. He learned from it. How do we know you learned from it? Because you're honest with us. Okay? You're not a criminal, are you? Are you perfect? Nobody in this room here is perfect, right? We've all made our mistakes. We've all done foolish things. Okay? The difference is people that learn from their mistakes usually go on to lead good lives. People that hide behind their mistakes continue to make those same mistakes. Right? And I can tell by talking to mom and dad that you're a good kid with a good household. All right? People care about you. That means you have an opportunity to go far, even if you made a mistake. Don't hide behind foolishness now. Let's kind of figure out what's going on so you can move forward. We don't want to live in this and just keep having this hang over our heads. You understand that? Let's just kind of get this figured out so we can move on. So we can all start kind of rebuilding our lives, getting back to where we should be. Part of that is telling us where that gun is though.
somewhere in the river. In the river? Where'd you throw it? Off the bridge? Come on. That's not rebuilding trust. That's hide and sell. You worried about getting somebody else in trouble? I ain't that type of person. What? I ain't that type of person. What's that? I can't tell nobody else. Somebody else? Did somebody else throw the gun in the river for you? Mm-mm. Did you throw the gun in the river? Mm-mm. So then why do you say the gun's in the river? Gotta be a bottom line answer to this. You can't kind of keep dancing around. If you want to be honest, let's be honest. You said the gun's in the river. Okay. Where? Location. Hmm. We all got the footage. What's that? We all even got the footage. Footage of what? Me. What do you mean, footage? There's nothing but witnesses. There's a lot of stuff, Jamal. Like I said, I just took you in there to take photographs of your hands. Okay, that shows what we call gunshot residue. Okay? You understand what that is? You shoot a gun, right? What's going to be all over your hands is going to be what we call gunshot residue. Okay? The special lenses that she was using and everything helps her show what's there. Okay? There's witnesses that saw you there fire. Okay. Also, witnesses saw you pull the gun. So, I mean, there's no way getting out of this one way or another. And you didn't go to the river, Jamal? You didn't have that kind of time. Long way to the river. does make a difference to people if they're going to either be honest with us or lie to us. No, I'm not just saying tell you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? You're not getting any street cred for that. That doesn't make you a better person. You know what that makes you? What? Foolish. Because you can't be honest. And like I said, that goes back to trust. You understand that what happens with that gun? God forbid somebody else gets their hands on that gun. Your fingerprints are all over it. Somebody uses that gun and whatever it's going to be and your prints are on it, people are going to come and looking for you again if the police get involved. You thought about that? What's my gun? No. Doesn't matter. Your prints are all over it. You obviously held it and fired it, did you not? So then your fingerprints could be all over that gun. Are you going to help us find the gun, or are you just going to kind of not say anything? I ain't going to say anything about the gun. Are you at least going to tell me what kind of gun it was? Don't know. You don't know other than you just shot it. That's what you're going with. Myself and Detective Kranz here sitting here trying to help you. And the best you got is, I don't know, I just shot the gun. That's as, be as honest as you're going to be with both of us. After we're sitting here trying to help you, have you getting in a lot of trouble? Okay, you're still going, you're still getting arrested. We can't control that. But there's a big difference in us writing in a report saying that you're honest with us or that we found it on our own. There ain't no gun to find. Y'all not finna to find it. How would I not find it? You just not. What, one of the guys downstairs take it from you when you, you know, shot and you came down? Nobody around the blue apartments had anything to do with the gun. Come on. 
off the streets, off period, off ain't nobody finna have their hands on it. You realize what you started today, don't you? What? Those guys you shot at, you know what's gonna happen, right? What? They're gonna come after you and your boys. It's just a matter of time. I don't got no boys, I'm by myself. All right, let's let's talk about this, Jamal. Mm -hmm. The magazine that's under the bed with you. Yep. Why'd you strip the mag? Strip the mag. I what? Strip the mag. Why'd you leave the magazine when we take the magazine with you? When? I ain't got no mag. Y'all ain't gonna find my fingerprints on them. Or in my possession. So I don't the magazine that, that you were laying next to underneath the bed. Mm-hmm. Wasn't yours. Was not mine. I don't live at that house. So why'd you go there? My friend lived there. I guess you don't want to be honest with us. I was honest with y'all. Not completely. Look, I want to help you. I truly do. But if you can't be honest with us about it, you know, everything, and there ain't a whole lot I can do for you. And I even told your mom that I'd help you out any way I could as long as you were honest. Man, I'm being honest. I'm telling you the truth. I don't know where the gun is. Okay, who'd you give it to? Tell me the truth on that. I don't remember who I gave it to. You gonna play this game, huh? Game, okay, I'm being dead serious. You know who you gave it to. Well, I definitely know you knew what kind of gun it was. Let's start there. You knew he had a thirty-eight revolver. So what did you have? Huh? Do me a favor. Pick your head up for me, please. Sit up. You're a big boy, right? Let's act like one for a second. What kind of gun did you have? 38 revolver. So you both have 38 revolvers. He didn't have a gun, did he? So what did he have then? He didn't get it back. He what? He never got it back. What do you mean he never got it back? You took it from him? He was trying to shoot me. Okay. Why didn't you tell us it to begin with? Pick your head back up. Come on, talk to us. He up the gun. I needed to reach for it. When I snatched it, they all started running towards me, so I took the, took the cut. Because I knew they had more guns, I took the cut all the way to the top of the blue apartment to see what was going on. They had one aim, so I shot one back. So you run to the top of the blue apartments over to your buddy's house. You run up on the balcony, and that's where you take a shot back from. All right? So you're up there. You took his gun from him. So you got your gun, and you got his gun. I don't have no gun. My gun was his gun. You took his gun. So you, you took his gun, and you shot at him with his gun. What'd you do with the gun after that? Threw it back over there. One of them went and picked it up. Threw it back over where, Jamal? To where they was at. Would you throw it at them? Yeah. That <laughs> doesn't make any sense. You, now you're being foolish. One of them had to pick it up, though. Where'd you throw the gun? They got it. How you know they have it? Because they went and picked it up. How you know they went and picked it up? Because when I ran, they was running back after they heard the one shot. Did you chase after them? I went for I started to, and then I just dropped it, and I seen one of them pick it up. Who? You know those guys. Which one of them picked it up? I don't know the one in He's the one that picked it up? Are you sure? 
So you stole the gun from Glispie, and then he got it back? That's the story you want me to believe. Save the Nazis for somebody else. That's not what happened. What's the maximum time I can get? No clue. I'm not a judge. I can tell you this much. We tell the judge that this kid's down a path, and we ask him to push it as hard as he can, there's a good chance the judge listens to us. So don't be against our side. My suggestion is help us out. Because the judge is going to look at you and say the same thing. Somebody else gets their hands on that gun, and you didn't have the opportunity, you weren't smart enough, you weren't willing to help us, he is not going to be courteous to you. I suggest you start telling us where that gun's at. No, that's not an answer. Don't shrug your shoulders at me, okay? You want to be a big boy, act like a big boy. Come on, Jamal, you gotta tell us where the gun is. Quit wasting our time. Quit trying to think of another bullshit excuse to tell us. Just tell us where you put the gun. I don't know where I put the gun. Let me wait for a second, Jamal. Pick your head up. Alright. It's irrelevant where the gun's at, okay? The mere fact that we don't have the gun doesn't mean a whole lot, okay? We understand what happened already. Okay, we're past all that. The gun is insurmountable. Okay? Unless something bad happens with that gun. <clears throat> Ain't nothing bad gonna happen with it. Did you kick it in the drainage canal? Hmm? Did you kick it in the drainage canal? Sewers? Is that where it is? Is that a yes or a no? Don't play games. Pick your head up and act like a big boy. Which one is it in? The first one we see. The first one where? Walking when you come in here. Pick your head back up, please. The first one you're walking in where? Into the blue apartment. From the road or from the ditch? Road. So you guys ran around the corner, past the gas station? Howard went with me there. Say it again? Howard wasn't with me there. Okay. Howard ain't got nothing. He was just right. at the wrong place at the wrong time. Right by the tennis courts there? Is that what you're saying? Or basketball court, I mean? Are you sure? Here's the roadway. All right. Plum, whatever the name of the place is, Plum Tomato, is right over here. Here's that little ditch line canal. Runs right here. All right. You come back over this way, back up to the road, you pass in front of the uh, convenience store. Show me where. You dumped the gun. Here's the thing right there. You pushed it through the grate? Is this in this is the convenience store right here, right? That's the one. I'm sorry, the convenience store would be right here technically. This is the ditch, this is the pool area. Okay? So there's a grate right here? And that's where the gun's at. Are you being honest with me right now? I, I can't hear you. You can talk yeah. to me. I'm talking to you. You can talk to me like a big person, okay? Yeah. 
So you dump the gun in there. What type of gun is it? Does it have a cylinder or does it have a slide? It was a revolver. It was a revolver. You sure? You sure the magazine they caught you with is, does not go to this gun? No. Not at all. So where did that come from? I don't know. I don't live in the house. Is that from Howard? No. I don't live in the house. Let me house. ask you something, I okay? Somebody, because I think the mom had a license for it. I don't know. You take the gun from over here, right? From Plum Tree or Plum Tomato. You run all the way back over to here, and you shoot from over here. How does the gun get back over to here? Do the math. After you pull the trigger from over here, you run all the way back to here? No. I was in the front, right here. You shot the gun from the balcony, yes? Hey, he's confused on where you're saying you're at. Here's the back apartment. Here's the balcony. Okay? You understand that? So you're over here, and you shoot that way. Right? The grate is there. How do you get from here to back to here? I'm not talking about... Hold up. Bro, you got me confused. Bro, I'm talking about right here, and then this pool right here. The ditch over here, right. one right there. Yep. There's also one coming right here. That's the one where it's at. Y'all confusing me. All right. I'm going to help you out here, okay? Here's the center of the apartment complex, right? Mm -hmm. It's all hollowed out, so you got like a gap in between both sets of apartments. Mm -hmm. Here's the community pool over here, right? Mm -hmm. Behind the community pool is the tennis courts, right? Mm -hmm. You're over here on this balcony. You shoot in this direction, right? Mm -hmm. Up in the air. You're not trying to hit anybody. Mm -hmm. You come down from the balcony. Yes? Mm -hmm. You come back over this way, mm -hmm. and there's a grate here? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're telling me? So it's in the community, is the grate. Is it by the blue apartments is what he's asking. Do you pass the pool? Yeah. Do you go back towards the store? Right. I'm right here. So you're like right here. This is, this is the entrance way. Yeah. Here's the entrance to the community. You can come in off of... 14th Avenue, and then you pull in. This would actually be the most people come around this way and they come through this way, right? So you're saying there's a, a drainage grid right here, somewhere in there? This is, is this where my friend house at? That's not where you were found. That's the one where you shot from. Oh, yeah. When I shot from, I went this way. I can't do this on the paper, bro. When I shot, I went this way. You shot this way towards Plum Tree or Plum Tomato. Why would I go this way? I'm asking you. This way to the one over here by where I was at. Come Here's on. the apartment you were found in. Yeah. Okay? Around the corner. So you go around the corner towards the main entrance of the, the community. Mm -hmm. And you're saying there's a drainage grate over here. Mm -hmm. Here's the cemetery. The cemetery's kind of up over in this area. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Can you see the cemetery? And over here, there's some homes. There's like a fence line that runs right here. Mm -hmm. You saying there's a drainage grate right there? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. And that's where you drop it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Look at me for a second. Is that where the gun goes? Yeah. Are you lying to me right now? Should you put it in the grate and not the dumpster? I wouldn't put it in the dumpster. So if we send someone over there to that grate, if there is a grate in that general vicinity, you're telling me that's where the gun's going to be located? That's where I put it at. I don't know where Can anybody else go and get it? I don't know. It's not a trick question. He shouldn't be able to. How big was the gun? Wait, am I going to get charged with the gun? Too? I, I, well, you're told you, right? Your charge does not change, right? Yeah. We're not lying about that. The charge is the charge. What is the charge? Aggravated assault, right? You fired a gun at somebody or at least in a general direction? Okay. That's what it is. It's not going to change. I don't believe you want to kill anybody. Yeah. Right? You don't want to kill him, do you? You want to scare him. I believe that. Mm -hmm. 
sure it's in the gray? Yeah, that's the way it should be. Yeah. No, no, no. Is if you put it there, then that's 100% where it is. Yeah. Which one is it? It should be or it is? It should be. That means it's not there. Did anybody know to go pick it up for you? Didn't nobody see me. You had a phone with you, didn't you? Did you tell someone to go pick it up? Mm-hmm. You know we can find that out if you did. I'm just being straightforward with you. I, I mean, I'm being as honest with you as I can right now. I know. You Try put the gun, you push it between the uh, the slots in the grate? Hmm? The, gla the grate is flat, correct? Do you push it between the slots? It just slid right through, though. It did or it didn't? It did. It slid right through. How big was a revolver? Snub. Snub nose? When did you put it there? Right out there. Um, so you fired from here, and you run all the way past your buddy's apartment that you guys go into, mm -hmm. around the corner of the building, and you put it in the grate. Mm -hmm. Then what do you do? Come back. You come back to here? Yeah. Whose apartment is that? Um, um, I'm not going to figure out a real name. How do you know her? What's she look like? Well, I know her mom. What's her mom's name? Something call you. Okay. Y'all already got over. I know. Saying. I know. She but you went that's the apartment you went to? Yeah. She didn't know I was in it. Okay. What were you wearing tonight? Today, I mean. Because we know you changed clothes, too. I had this one. I did Okay. What about the other clothes we found in the apartment? Oh, yeah, I was with a girl. Took the clothes off. Got comfortable. You have those white pants on? Yeah. Today you had them on? Before? Yeah. Okay, what about that white shirt? Did you wear a white shirt today? Mm-mm. No. I had a floral shirt. Floral shirt? Yeah. Okay. So the white pants and a floral shirt, right? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Now, which phone was yours? Was it one that was kind of cracked a little bit, or is yours fixed? No, it was cracked a little bit. It's the white iPhone 6. Okay. With the white screen on the top. Y'all go book me now. I'm done. I'm you serious? All right, something else I want to talk to you about. All right. We know a lot of stuff, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to help yourself out a little more, okay? Try to provide us some information as far as why this happened. I know one group is a different group than your group. And you want to, you care to tell me a little bit about different that? Group. They working with the police. They ain't working with the police. They got I got no, no. What's your, you're part of the youth paper soldiers, right? No. <laughs> Crazy. A young paper no, soldier something like that? No gang. Check my Facebook. Check my date. I ain't never. Couldn't it, I didn't say it's a gang. I said a group. You guys could be making no, music. I ain't in no group with nobody. So my career, so everything about me, so Sure about that? Positive. So what you're saying is you don't know nothing about nothing? I don't know nothing about none of that, that street beef, none of that. I just I just got into this incident with you. Too late. There's got to be a reason why you guys got an argument with them. Sure? Yeah. Three three two. Sub six to three two. You want to call your mom and dad? Tell them what? Well, I figure you just want to talk to them. 
I care about you a lot, man. I know you don't want to tell me about what's really going on. I'm okay with that. But the bottom line is, is you keep hanging out with these guys, you can get yourself in even more trouble if not even killed. I know. It ain't a cool life to live, man. It's not as nice as you think it is. You know how tough it is to go to parents and tell them that their kid was shot and killed because they're part of a member or a group that they shouldn't be? Or even just you're hanging out with people that are part of a group that you shouldn't be. Seven sixty unit D B. Scope one should be there somewhere. Anybody in the DB? Alright, hang on. But how about T? I just had rain in him. He was at the wrong place at the wrong time. He didn't know what was going on. You sure? Positive. So we call up here. Sure you want to tell me anything about the people you're hanging around? Nope. I don't hang around anybody. Doesn't have to go any further than you and me. I ain't telling you. Nope. You afraid to tell me? I'm gonna tell other people things. You afraid to tell me? Can you get me a DB? Meet me over at interview room one. I still get why you won't tell me about it. Why? I need to tell my mom about it. What does it look like? What do you mean, what does it look like? I don't tell you. I need to tell my mom what's going on. I need to tell my mom what's But I know a lot about you that your mom and dad don't know. That's why I'm trying to help you out here, Jamal. I got a lot of friends that work a lot of things. And uh, you and your boys are kind of a hot topic right now. Now you're having a fight with the Army gang. How do you want to call them? Whatever they call themselves. The 300 gang, 300 club, whatever. Either way, you guys got to fight, man. And it, it's not going to end well. I'm not fighting with no... I'm not in no young paper soldiers. Okay, I'm maybe not you're not. Gang. I got nothing to do well, with you that. hang around the same people that are. Right? Nope. Mm -hmm. Nobody has no YPS. You sure about that? Positive. That's not what I was told. Because what you was told, I'm telling you the truth. I hope you're right. What they do? It would have been labeled me as a game. Who says you're not? Cop already asked me. I've been through this already. They called me up, accusing me of being in an army game. Let them check my background, check my Facebook, check everything I'm on. I don't, I'm not in no type of game. No type of, I, what do I look like? Losing my life over a flag or a color. Well, you got a shooting for a reason. I, I don't buy the whole story, I'll be honest with you. You know, I know you don't believe me. I really am trying to help you out, and I'm getting very frustrated. <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to make sure nobody gets hurt. Ain't nobody gonna get hurt. How do you know? Because I know. You guys just got in a fight today where you had to pull out a gun. You don't think that somebody gonna get hurt? No, nobody's gonna get hurt. Sure about that? Hmm. How do you know? Because I know. All right, well. I'm gonna leave you be then. And if you want to talk to me more, I'll be more than happy to talk to you, but I'm not going to sit here and bang my head up against the table all day for you. When are they going to take me to get arrested and take me to the tent? Huh? When are they taking me to the tent? Uh, when we tell you, you're going.
We don't need them. I'm hungry. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit. All right. I ain't got no snack. Give me a few minutes. I'll see what I can come up with for you. All right. What do you like? It ain't McDonald's nothing. Huh? I got a vending machine. I might be able to come up with something for you. All right. What do you like? Anything. Honey bun or something along those lines. Yeah. All right. What are you doing? You're chilling. <laughs> How's that honey boy? Good. Good? All right. You want some drink? What would you like? Anything. Tell me what you like. What do you got? It's not 7-Eleven. What would you like? I'm trying to think of a basic one. Is there ever seen one? Coke, Sprite. 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 Non-Cola. The non-cola. Alright, I'll get you Sprite. 
I'm gonna ask you one last time. I want you to be honest with me. Is that gun gonna be in that grate? Oh no. Did you drop it in that grate? You didn't drop it in the grate, did you? See, I'm trying to be a nice guy, and you're lying to me. Where's the gun at? Where's that? No, yeah, I'm trying to think. You know where the gun's at. I ain't worried about it. I ain't, I can't. You can't walk. Hmm? Hmm. I can't tell y'all where the gun's at. Why? I just can't. That's how the relationship's gonna go south now? No, it can't go south because I kept it real with y'all from the, at the beginning. You ain't telling me where the gun's at. You lied to me. That makes you a liar. That means you're wasting my time, you're wasting your time. Where's the gun? I told you no additional charges. But I need that gun. I don't know where it's at. You're lying to me. No, you're not. Who'd you give it to? I don't remember their name. You know who's there. Where's the gun? And you lied the type about the type of gun. Is that what you are? You're a compulsive liar? You ain't even mad enough. Where is the gun? Can't tell you. Don't know. That's not, bro. You're not finna. It, it. What What are you scared of? You need that gun for safety. Mm. Is that it? You don't want to give the gun up because you need it for protection. So where's the gun? To give it to somebody? Uh, that should be an easy question. I'm not saying no name. I ain't saying no name. Okay, so that's not what I asked you. I asked you, did you, did you give it to somebody? Then you gonna ask who I gave it to? All right, can we get through one thing at a time? Let's not get questions ahead of me. No. I respect you, but can't do too much help. Why not? It's not me. It's not you? No, I can't. Because then that's getting somebody else in trouble. It was a yes or no question. Let's get, we'll wait for the next question. Then you can tell me you're not going to tell me that part. Then you're going to think it's going to be... I already think you're a liar. What's the difference? All right, then. If you think that, then I might as well not even talk. That's how you want to be remembered then. I ain't coming back here after this. It, what happens here is just one part of your life. Yeah, I was talking like I'm finna get 10 years. Nope, I didn't say that in the slightest. I'm not even talking about that in regards. I'm talking about when you talk to your parents. And when I talk to your parents and say, you know what? Your son couldn't even be honest. That's the trust issue I'm talking about. I'm honest with my parents, too.
when they book me. What's that? I'm going to the tent. You want four pairs? Me? Huh? I'm going to four pairs. Mm-hmm. Dang. Why well, can't go to Indian River? Because you're a juvenile. Oh, that's where it's at? So, mm-hmm. There ain't one down here? Mm-hmm. You need to be honest. So everybody needs something. Where's the gun at? Did you give it to somebody, yes or no? No. Ain't nowhere at the blue apartments either. What's that? Ain't nowhere at the blue apartments either. Is it close to the blue apartments? Nope. How would you know? It's cold. How would you know? It's cold. Mm-hmm. She's coming. What kind of gun was it? Hmm? Mm-hmm. See, it's all sorts of full of lies. Yes? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. What? Damn, like, y'all, y'all just keep asking like I'm lying. Did you dump it in the store grade? Yes or no? What I said the first time? First time you said yes, then you said no. All right, then, because you keep asking me. So is it in there or not? Yeah. Well, I put it at. But if anything happened, somebody catch a body on it, I know that'll come straight from you. I'm prepared if the gun isn't there. If the gun's not there, you're prepared for what? If somebody do anything with it and I get blamed for it, I know that now I'm prepared. What do you mean? If somebody else find a gun. Well, it's in a storm grade. If it's in a storm grade, how's somebody else going to get it? Some people out in the ways. Alright, I got people going to the storm grade right now. Are you going to find a gun in there? Did you put it in there? Yes or no? I told you you yeah, already. And then you told me no. Because you kept asking. So that means the answer changes? Yeah. If I ask you your name 50 times, you didn't tell me something different? Mm-hmm. If you keep asking like you don't believe it. Alright. Well, I'll have the answer pretty soon. And I'll know for sure if the, great, the gun's in there. Ain't nobody went over there and picked it out yet. Mm-hmm. So if it ain't there, can I call you a liar? Yeah. Think that's gonna happen? Don't matter to me. Don't. You can just take me on, cause I don't like these questions. Don't commit crimes.
see my dollars for. You all right? You yeah. want some drink or anything? Yeah, Sprite. Uh, I don't think I can get you a water. It'd be about the best you can get. Yeah, man. You want to drink Sprite? Huh? You want to drink Sprite? You don't want a water. They're on their way to go look for the gun right now. I hope it's by the crate where you said it is. What if it ain't? And then I'm probably going to come back and talk to you even more. Until you tell me where it finally is. I ain't gonna never, like, even if it's not, not there, then I can't help you. you know, if you told us the truth and you can. told us you put it there, it will be there. If you're lying to us and you never put it there, now that's a different scenario. Okay? Mm -hmm. This isn't gonna go away. What? 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 I'm gonna spend the night here or something? No, you ain't gonna spend that long. You go to DYS in Fort Pierce. What I'm trying to tell you is. We're going to keep talking to you until we finally figure out what's going on. That's the only juvenile center? Huh? The only juvenile center is in... Fort Pierce, that's it. That's where you got to go. I might as well do it. Because if the gun ain't there, then I don't know what to tell y'all. Well, like I said, if you put it there, you got nothing to worry about. Okay? So, just relax. You sure you don't want water?
more of the ball and the tree stuff. Caught the toilet button. Hey, I woke up in the bed, fell asleep, you know. I woke up in a comfortable ass bed this morning. And in my night, my father.
playing it too. Aggravated assault. Damn. You got big ass charge too. Shoot that nigga with the stick with the fuck. I'm gonna get killed, huh? Yeah. She didn't slow down, little baby. You ain't going too fast. I don't need to hang this way. Alright, I try being nice with you. I try to help you out. Alright, that gun ain't there. You know it wasn't there. Where'd you put the gun? Where'd you put the gun, Jamal? I'm done being nice with you. Tell me where you put the gun. I don't know. Yeah, you do. Where'd you put the gun? I don't know. You think your buddy's gonna be as as, as you know uh, helpful as you are? Maybe he'll tell us where he put the gun. Okay. 
Why are you so against telling us where you put the gun? You're not giving any more trouble you're already in. Exactly. So I don't know why to... Why because I want to make sure that gun does not get used to hurt somebody else. You may not care about that, but I do. Yeah, I know you don't care. Otherwise, you would have told us where it was. Your parents are going to care, I can tell you that, especially if somebody gets hurt with that gun that you threw somewhere. You going to be able to live with yourself knowing that someone got hurt with that gun that you threw somewhere? Oh, you don't care, do you? Is that where we're at? You don't give a shit? Is that what you're saying? Ain't nobody finna get hurt. How do you know? Because I know. How do you know? You said that another guy pulled a gun on you. You pulled a gun on somebody and fired it up in the air. How do you know nobody's going to get hurt? Look at me. I'm done with you. Where did you put the gun? Don't know. That's the game we're going to play, huh? Look, I knew you fired the gun before I even brought you in here. I don't need the gun to make your case. You're going to jail. Okay? I already know this. Then why won't you tell me where you put it? I don't care about your buddies. I want the gun. I want to make sure nobody gets hurt. Where did you put the gun, Jamal? I don't know where the gun is at. Yeah, you do. Who'd you give it to then? Well, you think because you don't tell the police what you did or where you put stuff, you think that makes you some kind of street cred or something? I'm just not that type of person. Well, you're the type of person to fire a gun at somebody now, aren't you? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. What type of person are you really? Look up. What type of person are you? You going to be a man about this and make sure nobody else gets hurt? Ain't nobody going to get hurt. Or are you going to be a little boy about it and not tell anybody about what you did? Well, all right, then. I guess I'm going to be a boy. Just tell them to take I'm going to take the charges, bro. Y'all getting them. You're taking the charges anyway, dude. All right, then. So leave me alone. Tell me where you put the gun. to find out. Why? Period. I'm not telling you. No. Why will you not tell me? Because I'm not. So you'd rather have another charge for tampering evidence than tell me exactly where that gun is? I ain't tampering for no evidence. Yeah, you did. You threw the gun, didn't you? Nope. Then where'd the gun go? I don't know. Okay, then. Then something you did with the gun, which, guess what, is tampering with evidence. Well, then charge me with it. It's probably going to happen. You know, I can't wait to tell your parents how you're acting, either. Tell me you think you're a little gangster. You ain't nothing, dude. All right. I've seen people like you all the way on the streets. You ain't nothing. You think this is the life you want to live? Is this the life you want to live? You're going to end up in a pine box. Is that how you want to be? You want to be dead at 16 years old? This is not a game. It may be to you. It's not to me. It's not to the next detective who's sitting right next to me. Where'd you put the gun, Jamal? Where'd you put the gun? Someone's going to flip on you, I promise, because somebody always does. And then you're going to look like the idiot. Oh, you don't care now. No, no, but you will. Trust me, you will. You always care later on. You wish you took that opportunity to try to help yourself out, but you never did. What do you think your dad's going to say when I say you refuse to give us where the gun's at, but you admitted to firing up in the air and pulling a gun out on people and everything else? Because I'm not going to lie to him. Oh, you don't give a shit what your dad thinks now, right? How about your mom? You care what she thinks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you think she's going to think about what you did? You not care about that either? You just kind of, yeah, whatever. I care about my mom, but she know how I am. She says she has no idea. She thought you are a good kid. Good kids don't do shit like this, Jamal. 
Good kids own up to their mistakes. Good kids make sure nobody else gets hurt. So you want to man up? You want to be a man about everything? Then tell us where that gun's at. Like, I, I don't care if you gave it to one of your buddies. I want to know where the gun is. I know you know, and I know you got stuff processing in your mind right now. I'll make you a deal. You're honest with me, and you tell me where that gun is and I find it, I won't charge you with tampering with evidence. Which is a felony, I might add. On top of everything else you already got. Trust me, you're looking at some pretty hefty charges as it is. But hey, you want to keep stacking them, that's fine. It gives you more street cred. It makes you cooler to your buddies. Whatever you want, your choice. What do you want to do? Look up. What do you want to do? This is not hard to think about. It's either you say yes and you tell me where it's at. I don't know where it's at. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Then what happened to it after you shot it? You gave it to one of your buddies, didn't you? Is that what that is that what you did? then why do you not know where it's at? Mm -hmm. This ain't going away anytime soon, dude. Till you tell me exactly where you put the gun, and we find the gun. You're not finna find it, bro. I don't even know where it's at. Where did you put it? And then let us go look where you said you put it, and don't bullshit me. Just look. Keep asking the same question. He done came here two times. Because we know you're lying to us. You've already lied to us four or five different times. Okay. What's the truth and what's a lie? You tell me. What's the truth and what's a lie with you? Where'd you put the gun? Put it nowhere. Where'd you throw the gun? Throw it nowhere. Then where is it? You just gonna keep playing these games. Okay, then we'll, we'll, we'll ask a new question since that's what you said. Where did you get the gun? Oh, let me guess. You ain't saying that one either. No. Why? No, it is not. Do you think that this is a game to you? Do you think this is funny? Do you think it's cool? I mean, what, do you, what, is, it, what is going through your mind right now? Let me ask you a serious question. You know what happened to those cops found the gun with you? And you had it somewhere in your vicinity or you pointed it at us or anything else? You know what happened? Would have been dead. May not have been dead, but it would have caused some problems for you. Did you even think about what you did? You really think it's okay with what you did? And you just don't care. Y'all don't understand me, bro. Y'all ain't gonna never understand me. Then tell me. Help help me understand you. People know me. They know I'm not the type of person that just... Then why did you do it? it you wrote it self-defense. There's a reason more to it than that. You don't go up to people like that for no reason. I don't believe that this guy just for no reason came up to you and pulled a, and said, and pulled a gun he out. He was arguing. We've been arguing. Why? About stupid stuff. Dude. Like what? Just take a guess. I don't need to take a guess when I can have you tell me the truth. What are you arguing about? Everything. Like what? Thank God. Stuff I asked you about earlier that you said I have no idea what I'm talking about? No, not nothing, nothing game related. Well, you told me take a guess. That was my guess. So why don't you tell me? Do you want to die? Is this where this is going? You tell me. I'm not going to die. How do you know? Do you think those kids are going to let you get away pulling a gun on them? You don't care now. You will care. I promise you that.
you just don't care if somebody gets hurt, it's going to be what's going to be. Ain't nobody going to get hurt, but you can put that down if you want to. What makes you think nobody's going to get hurt? Because I know. How? Tell me how you know. How can you guarantee me that nobody's going to get hurt with that gun that's missing still? Was it stolen? Is that why you don't want to tell me about it? You sure about that? Why do you say you keep wasting my time? You sit there for a few minutes and think about what I told you. Tell the bear claw or you want to take it? Huh? <clears throat> What's that? Oh, the honey bun? Yeah, you done with it? Yeah, I'm done with the truck. Hold on one second. Benny's your dad, man? Yeah. He's a pretty cool dude. Yeah, he cares about me. I've known Benny for a while, man. He's a good dude. Yeah, he's a good dude. Stepfather. Yeah? Yeah, he's a good dude, man. Um, come on. Come on. Come on.